company and are now finding suggestions to their head of business in China. So let's grow for it. The goal we need to reach is sustained growth. We all know that China is now a very big market and the economic growth in every field are very fast and from macro views. China is one of the biggest software markets. Also, she has the large supply of talent and low-cost workers. It could also be a stepping stone to penetrate the East Asian region. Therefore, entering this market is undoubtedly a good decision. There is some information of China IT market. Besides the reason of macro view, from the micro view, um, the reasons are first, China government strongly support IT investment. Second, China has well developed IT fundamental infrastructure. Third, provision of quick approvals to secure international investment. So, isn't TCS have some advantages in China? Yes, TCS run a unique business model called Global Network Delivery Model. Let's take a look at the model. GNDM used the best talents to fulfill the job economically with the lowest risk at the solution center. TCS provides the highest quality of service delivery and different sourcing strategy to suit the client needs. Also, to reduce the cost of managing the IT service stream, GNDM brings a lot of benefits. But if we want to gain the trust and the deals from the clients, reliability and the convenience must be built up. GNDM meets 89% client satisfaction of meeting quality expectations and an FH budget variation on project of just 3%, both figures and are far better than industry norms. Come up with the GNDM DS Raw strategy connects TCS and the clients more closely, and to make clients comfortable and convenient. For the reliability, the Six Sigma management method tries to eliminate all the uncertainty in running business. GNDM with 69% clients. Yes, I've also found some information about China IT's industry. Let's take a look of it. The graph shows the revenue of TCS and its major competitor, Whirlpool and Infosys, from 2006 to 2010. It is the graph of net income by comparing the cost with revenue. We found that TCS improved the cost management consistently. But our competitor, Infosys, has a better performance. So cost control is one of TCS's main targets to come over the competitor. One of the methods is to minimize the labor cost, which we will show more details in recommendations part. As Chinese IT industry is experiencing a sustainable growth period, there are different surveys and data shows cost to revenue. We found that TCS improved the cost management consistently. As Chinese IT industry is experiencing a sustainable growth period, there are different surveys and data showing that TCS is at the front of Chinese in IT industry. By using the BCG growth share matrix analysis, we found that TCS is a star, which being the leader stage in the high growth rate market. Ingest more resources to keep the advantages positioned and meet the growing demand in this market is crucial. However, there are still some Opticals from different ways round. We are going to overcome them part by part. To deal with the problem of imitation, we suggest TCS to focus more on product innovation, keep updating software, which can also avoid plagiarism by the competitors. Also, it has to put efforts on R&D in order to give unique intellectual property and to perform more high-end IT service. For the public relationship, 
in order to build a position of TCS in China, we suggest TCS to follow Chinese mindset, to maintain good relationship with the Chinese government and to have good public relationship with the current clients and also the potential clients. In order to enhance TCS competitiveness, we have suggested some marketing strategy. First, we are not going to focus on one specific brand image. Instead, we will keep our present global image and maintain the international standard. As many Chinese companies in recent years have been increasingly willing to turn over some tasks to external service providers to wrap economies of scale, and we are also looking for support in IT servers as they globalize. Therefore, a suitable global image is essential. But at the same time, we have to slightly modify the business model to suit the Chinese pattern. For example, we can think of creating a slogan in Chinese. Yet, the human resources is one of the main problems that TCS face. It has difficulties in recruiting talented employees as they can't withstand multicultural working atmosphere. So withdrawals always happen. Moreover, university graduates sometimes only focus on theoretical knowledge, which turn out low productivity in this industry. OK, okay can you give us some recommendations? Yes, we recommend uh, the HR departments to put a great effort on recruiting people in different ways. So I have a knock of our recommendation. Firstly, TCS can open internship opportunities to tertiary education students. This can build up long-term relations with these students and attract suitable st students to return to TCS after graduate. This is a way to expand our potential employees. Secondly, a qualified training center can help to increase the high-quality workforce. Students from different concentrations can apply for the IT Foundation course. Those capable students who pass the test at the end of the course will be invited to continue, uh, to continue another advanced training with employment contracts. This act can actually expand the supply of IT labors from different fields. Moreover, TCS should avoid overemphasize on theoretical subjects and put more efforts on training practical solutions which can produce graduates with more practical experience who are likely to be immediately productive in commercial environment. And we can avoid lots of labor costs. Moreover, TCS may give more promotion in tertiary institutes and provide sponsorship and scholarship to increase its publicity. To retain the existing employees, companies should offer better welfare benefits. Enhancing job enrichment to key staff can increase job satisfaction. Also, we can send some outstanding staff overseas to let them learn and absorb others' good things. We know that there are lots of barriers in doing the action we mentioned in this video, such as building a training school which requires a great amount of capital and the shareholders may need to face the risk. However, we can ensure that this training center will become the major source of workforce in the future. All of the mentioned above are the main suggestions for you. Hope you will appreciate our analysis and suggestions. We promise we will add as our partner 